Having made it across the channel and back into the UK, we like to linger longer and brace ourselves before travelling up the M25. So we have landed in the UK. I'm going to go for a nice little walk around, circular walk. I think it's about six miles if my foot can manage it. We've landed in the UK, what, anywhere? Yeah, I don't know where I am, near Cooksbridge, not far from Lewes. About two miles north of Lewes. Lewis, Lewis. Or Lewis, however you pronounce it. Anyway, cows. You know how much I like cows. 20 yeah. minutes from New Haven, from the ferry. And um, yeah, we have to come through that field on the way back. But hopefully they'll have gone the other side. So onwards for this circular walk. Quick look around the To the, the site. South Downs. Yeah. Yep, nice quiet site. Only no, us here today. No um, hook up or anything. It's a bit by the railway station, it's very nice. Oh, little houses for the quack quacks. No fishing, just the fish for the quack quacks. Don't even know that they eat fish. Lots of lily pads. So we've just come up this top path between those trees and now we're on top of the South Downs. And just as I start filming, the sun goes in. All right, and we made it to the top. What's it called? Black Cap. Black Cap. South Downs. So we're on the top. I think that's New Haven there in the distance. Um, hazy, it? It's a bit hazy, yeah, but we've last time we stayed south of Lewis um, and we walked that range there. Um, and you can see Brighton in the far distance there. We're off to the Caravan and Motorhome Club Fest at Kelmarsh Hall. It's had a lovely night in a pub stopover, the Wharf Inn. And we're just going to be heading off soon. And I'll give you a quick glimpse as to what it's like at Club Fest. So at Kelmarsh Hall. Pilot today, Zin Zins. Pilot. We're on our way. Whoa. 
British robes. Hello, today's a Friday and we're in Borton on the Water. Um, it's a lovely day and we're going to do an unusual thing which is not do what everybody else does which is get an ice cream and go and walk along the river and go to the pub. We're going to walk around the outskirts of the village um, and then maybe get an ice cream and go to the pub. Anyway, we'll see how we get on. Oh, I've got to say, Luna's on the lead. She's going to stay on the lead because she had the operation. Laparoscopic sp spay. Spray? Yes. Spay. The open Cotswold countryside. Fantastic. Probably can't see this, probably can't see this on the GoPro, but we're going up there, which is, it looks lovely for me, it's Clapton on the hill? Clapton. On what? Clapton. Clapton. P. I believe. Clapton on I the believe. hill. Okay. And then I guess from there we circle back and... Um, yeah, we just go back down to Borton. Go back in. to Borton. Excellent. So, I wonder if we'll find a pub in Clapton on the hill and if we do will we have time because it was six pound to park the car and put it on the water five six pound for four hours uh, you can park your motorhome there I'll have a look on the way back there's motorhome spaces I think you can park overnight I've read it on search for sites anyway I think it uh, still continues I don't know how much that is we'll have a look before we drive off um, yeah, doesn't give you much, does it? Four hours. We've just come from down there in that lovely valley, and we're just arriving in the little village now. Good job, I don't need to use the phone. <laughs> don't think anyone's used that for quite some time. Have a nice little view from this bench. Well, apart from nice houses and a church, um, there wasn't actually a lot to do in Clapton on the hill, was there? There was not. I didn't think there would be. No. It's worth a trip for a it is. If you church. If you like ambling around the countryside and looking at nice houses and things, then that for you. it's okay. And that for a view. Awesome. Typically as this, isn't it? So, the going in the Cotswolds at the moment is pretty tough underfoot. It must have rained heavily in the winter, well obviously it did, but we weren't here, we were in Spain. And then um, it dried out quickly, so the ground is cracked massively. And we find ourselves constantly walking in tractor tyre tracks. So it's very tough going because you're actually walking between the tread pattern on the tyre. So you can quite easily take your ankle out. I don't think I've ever experienced it this bad. Just seen a deer, come pick it up on the GoPro, and I didn't have my big camera with me, but never mind, it's typical that, isn't it? Anyway, it made me think, we went all the way to Scotland, where there's supposed to be many deers, and um, 
spent you know a week or so there didn't see any apart from plastic ones that they had at the entrance to certain pathways anyway made my day that one well spotted tiffany and here we are back in Borton on the water two hours later it was all right wasn't it yeah now back to civilization with people <laughs> so that's the ice cream over and done with. Um, ice cream, no pub today. Busy, we have your food. Sorry? It's very cute. It is very cute, yeah. There we go, overnight in a motor home, £15. Not quite sure how many spaces they're on. It's probably about 10 or something like that. Anyway, it's past the coach bit. And there you go. About 15 days, something like that. Here we are. One big walk later, back at the tow car. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the route we're doing according to Lena. Anyway, we're in near Buckingham and we're just doing a circular route round Stowe, I think it's called the Nordic route. Stowe, because we're near the village of Stowe, which is a corner on the Silverstone racing circuit. Oh, well, there you go. On the That's F1 right track. There. Yeah. yeah. Right then. And we're not far from there. Buckle up as you're near Buckingham. Yep. Yeah. And let's rock and roll. Look at the coordinated look. Yeah. Well done, you. We'll and I've got the F1 hat. On. <laughs> let's go. So we're walking through the grounds of the Stone National Trust property and the trees are absolutely beautiful and the sheep look really tall but I think that's because they've just been yeah. sheared, the shorn the sheep. Passing through, nothing to see here. Stomach in, shoulders back, upright. <laughs> so there's a beautiful old stone bridge there over that massive pond, or lake I should say. Uh, looks like the exit from the trust property. So that big arch that we saw at the front there, and when we started the walk, is the Corinthian Arch. And here, uh, this is the exit or the back door entrance, one or the other. The two amazing little gatehouses. All right, Tiffany, which way now? That way. That way. Well, it looks like someone lives in these uh, little gatehouses. Windows open, it's got curtains. Oh, yeah, the tower's missing off it, that one, isn't it? Yeah. 
golf club entrance, even got its own electric gate. That's one long straight road. So there's amazing little monuments, statues, churches, stuff dotted all over the place. It's an incredible place. I should really have brought the other camera so we could zoom in on these things. Hope you enjoyed this week's episode and we'll see you next time. As always, please like, share, subscribe and comment. Bye.